Aloha and welcome to Ukulele on the Ground's Whiteboard Request. My name is Aldrin Guerrero and this time on Whiteboard Request, we have a request from Ukulele Noob XD and his request is for Jack Johnson's Upside Down. So we're going to bring that to you right now. We're going to run you through the chords, strumming patterns, pickings, and the, uh, the chord patterns. All right, so let's get started. First off, let's run through the chords. First chord is an E chord. You're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to bar the second fret. Now this next part is a little bit difficult. Ring finger is going to be barring the top three strings on the fourth fret. So that means the A is going to have that note from the second fret on the A string. The rest are going to be 4-4-4. Four, four, four. So 4-4-4-2. Four, 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 it's a little bit difficult if you're just starting out as a beginner. Um, if you want a different way to hold this chord, what you can do is you can use your pointer finger for the A string second fret ring finger E string 4th fret, middle finger C string 4th fret, and your thumb can just go right at the top and just mute it so you still have the same chord. So just like it says right here, 4-4-4-2, four, 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 okay? Here we go, F sharp minor, next up, middle finger, G string 2nd fret, pointer finger, C string 1st fret, ring finger E string 2nd fret. And that basically takes care of our, our, of our verse already. So E and F sharp. So you can start playing this song just by learning those two chords. So Who's to say you only needed two chords to play this verse? It's very easy once you get these chords. E and F sharp will help you play this verse. All right, next up, A. Middle finger, G string, 2nd fret, pointer finger, C string, 1st fret. We're about to turn it upside down with your B chord. Ring finger this time, G string, 4th fret, middle finger, C string, 3rd fret, pointer finger is going to be holding down two strings, your E and A on the 2nd fret. So it's going to be 4, 3, 2, 2. Now remember when I told you when you play that E, you can uh, mute the top? That's what we're going to do here. So we're going to, this X right here represents that we're going to be muting the top string. Your pointer finger will be playing A string 2nd fret, ring finger E string 4th fret, middle finger C string 3rd fret. It's like so. Okay, here we go. F. This is our G sharp minor. And those are your chords to Upside Down by Jack Johnson. Um, the strumming pattern is, is pretty simple. Uh, it sounds something like this. So it's down, chunk, up, up, down, chunk, up, down, up. But the last up, down, up is muted. So that means your pinky finger, or, uh, or if you want, you can just like lift up on the chord, but any way that you want to do it, you're basically muting the chord. That means you're not going to be hearing the last up, down, up. Well, you're going to be hearing your right hand strumming it, but you're not going to be hearing a chord coming out. So it sounds like this. Let's do it slow. Down, chunk, up, up, down, chunk, up, down, up. See what I did there? I took my pinky finger, placed it down so that I can mute it. You're hearing the strum, but you're not hearing the chord behind that strum. And, um, a hard way to do it is your pinky finger putting it down like that so you, you know it mutes the rest of the strings. What you can also do is you can just let go on the pressure holding down the strings because when you hold the strings down for the chord, you're putting some pressure in it, right? Like this. But if you just kind of let up but keep your fingers there, you're not going to hear that. So that's muted. So if you want to do that as well, you can do that. So it, it'll sound like this. What I did. So now let's take this strumming pattern that we just learned. And like I said, the verse is really easy. It's just two of these, these two chords right here, E and F sharp minor. And what we're going to do is we're going to play this twice and then switch over to the next chord. So E will get two of these, F sharp minor will get two of these. So it sounds like this. 
One, two, ready, go. F sharp minor. E. F sharp minor. All right, so once you have this down, this song gets pretty easy. Uh, the chorus is a E, F sharp minor, A, and B. But this is a little bit tricky because you're gonna now cut this in half, okay? Um, so this down chunk is gonna be E, and the rest of this is gonna be F sharp minor. So it's gonna sound like this. And then it goes. So, see that? E. Same thing with your A and B. So A will be this down chunk, then up, up, down, chunk, up, down, it will be B. So, so I want to turn the whole thing upside down. So it's a little bit difficult because what you're gonna do is you're cutting this in half. So uh, see if you can play that slow and then um, get faster eventually. But what you wanna do is you wanna master switching it right in the middle of your strumming pattern. Because it's easy if you uh, do the strumming pattern and then after each strumming pattern, you're gonna change to another chord. But this is a little bit difficult, okay? So see if you can work on that if you're having a hard time. Some people, you know, will just get this right off the bat. So that's, that's fine. That's not me. I, I needed like 50 times. You guys can't see it on this take, but due to movie magic, you know, I, I played this on the first time around, but I, it actually took me two hours to get this. All right, now let's move on to uh, the bridge. The bridge is simply G sharp minor, then F sharp minor, you're gonna do that twice, and uh, we're gonna end it with a B chord, okay? So that's the part where it goes, uh, and there's no time to wait. You're gonna do the same thing, you know, this, uh, the strumming pattern, but you're gonna switch from G sharp minor and F sharp minor. And there's no time to waste. But this time, you're gonna just do it once. So unlike the verse where you're doing it two times, unlike the chorus where you're doing it half, each one on the bridge will get one. Okay, so it goes, and there's no time to waste. And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know the rest of those lyrics from there. But you're going to repeat it twice, and then you're going to go to this B right here. Spin and round and round and round and upside down. I don't know the rest, and I'm just going to make it up. Pretend like I know this whole song. All right, and let's move on to the picking part. Picking is very simple also. It's right here. Oh, bam. Didn't know that I could do tabs, did you? Tabs. Six eighths on the C string, then seven. And on the six eight, we're gonna play that six and we're gonna slide it over to the eight. I'm guessing. This, uh, this thing right here, for me, that means slide. I don't know if that's what it is actually, but that's how I wrote it. Uh, it's still true that I don't know how to read or write tabs, but I'm trying for you folks. This right here means you're gonna slide it from six to eight. So we're gonna play this uh, C string, sixth fret. We're gonna slide it over to eight like this. And then we're gonna play E string, seventh fret. So it sounds like this. And it looks like we're gonna be doing it again. So we're gonna play it. And uh, we're gonna play it nine. So this first part right here sounds like this. Then we're gonna play C string sixth fret. Then right here, I put the slidey thing, but I don't really know what it is for hammer. I think it's H, but for this sake, I just put another slidey thing because I can't fit an H, it's like six H eight. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna play the six and you're gonna hammer onto the eight. So six, hammer onto the eight. Six, hammer on to the eight, and then play six. So it sounds like this. All right. Here we 
Here we go. One more time. I'll play the whole thing for you. So it sounds like this. All right, and that's the picking pattern. So this is uh, one of my first few attempts of doing tabs. So you guys gotta kind of excuse me. I'm, I'm not very good at tab writing, but this is as best as I can do the, uh, the picking part visually, because this is the whiteboard request. You need to see it visually, and that's how I did it. So uh, I think that's that 6H8, but it works this way also. You, you know what I mean. You've heard the song before. You know what that sounds like. These are the notes. That's how you play it. These are your chords, your verse chords, and uh, your string pattern. Now go out and play Jack Johnson's Upside Down. If you want to, you know, request a song, you can request it down in the comments below. And um, maybe, who knows, you'll get picked for the next whiteboard request here on Ukulele Underground. My name is Aldrin Guerrero. I'll see you folks next time. Have a great one and aloha.